so it was it was a little like difficult in the beginning to adjust but like you you sort of get used to it i just like i i just wear like more than enough clothes and i just roll with it that's my <laughs> that's that's the way i'm dealing with it <laughs> how was it like settling in in terms of you know academic style and you know using the resources on campus in terms of the academic structure and particularly for the film school does it kick in from day one if you want to or you still take genet classes and sort of push the film stuff later on yeah that's a very good question so um we start with like a few general classes and they give us an introduction to film like kind of like an introductory course which is not that super heavy it's more like um kind of supposed to sort of get you into this world where you find you know a professor that talks about like uh my first class actually was hollywood and american film and it's like all cinema in the united states since 1905 and you know it's a nice sort of a cool way to start because you see like you know you see the evolution of the blockbuster then you see like really questionable stuff with like you know with uh like the first film where uh it's literally like white supremacists <laughs> making movies and so it's like an interesting sort of look at US history and cinema and you learn how to sort of watch movies like from not a audience point of view but more like for like you know look at camera work and stuff like that so it, it it was it was a little uh it was a little awkward at the beginning cuz like cuz the american education system is just a little different so it was um i had to get used to that but i had an advisor and like a lot of resources that could i i used uh that helped me sort of um settle down much better fascinating uh how about sort of like getting comfortable with the idea of studying film and what is it really like how do you progress in a film major at a school like ithaca sorry arjun i missed your question yeah you so yeah sure so how is it like to progress in uh, the film major at a school like ithaca what do you have to study what resources do you use uh what projects do you have to do in the first few semesters so again you I, i just heard first few semesters can you sort of uh, okay you know? no worries it's about really learning about your resources like how do you progress in the film major like from your first semester to where you are today in your junior year um so like in the beginning they kind of give you more sort of less hands on work with film like it's more theoretical and film theory and just to sort of get you in that space like you analyze movies more and you write theses and stuff like that and then they sort of they start you out with um like cinema production 1 which is like um you have to make um a non diegetic sound film by the end of it which is like non diegetic sound is like sound that you um uh, don't hear on screen so for example if someone like claps his hand and you hear the clap that's like non diegetic or if someone's playing the guitar and you hear that guitar that's like diegetic sound so that's hard because you can't have dialogue that means so you have to make a film without dialogue and have it make sense and you know have a uh, background track and stuff like that so and they teach you everything they teach you how to operate the camera you're supposed to shoot on but uh, for me it was kind of different cuz my housemates actually uh had a much better camera than the camera we were allowed to use so we kind of cheated it that way so we shot that film in 4K and we weren't supposed to do that but it was a good experience cuz they teach you how to sort of you know change your white balance change the aperture shutter speed and like figure out like do all the technicalities and there are nice like they really have really good modules like in terms of camera work like there's handbooks on how to sort of operate a specific camera and like how to light how to figure out what sort of light lighting is perfect for the scene then that then that of course that is like for direction and so on and so forth okay so particularly if students want to do say screen writing and and you know, i know that you were interested in it and you currently are pursuing that as well and not too much about the really behind the camera part or right. the cinematography part how do you uh, is there a space for people uh, who just want to write yeah of course there is a screenwriting major and it's very very extensive i'm actually like i did like i didn't even complete the screenwriting major like i i i've done like two three courses 
and they're really extensive like you're constantly writing like um when you're submitting your work and you're working on a final piece that you're going to submit at the end of the semester but you're doing like multiple things along the way just to sort of because with writing it's just it's as simple as if you write a page every day you get better and better and better and that's what they sort of enforce enforce you to do and they teach you to write in that film format of you know action and how to how to write action and how to make it dramatic and stuff like that fascinating and how did you find your area of specialty within film film production and it what is it in, that you're doing now yeah it was literally like in a class like i think i uh, in one of my classes uh, they were we were shooting this uh, we have this concept in ethica called um, door knob films which is you have to make a movie with the door knob as the protagonist and it's always every year the story is different but you always have to have a door knob as a, like a literal door knob as a protagonist and why that is is because a door knob is the most least interesting thing you can ever film so you have to be super creative with how you can make okay I, and so we chose like uh frank the story of frankenstein so we call it like franken knob and we shot it like in class and, and i was like it was just random and uh, like kind of the professor kind of asked what do you guys who wants to direct and nobody was raising their hands so i was just like yeah you know what I'll, i'll i'll do it and i had a really fun time like directing and i was i finished on time like i finished actually 10 minutes before and this was like a year ago and that was really like it was nice because i felt like okay like it was not like in my head anymore like i did it in front of like my like you know my peers and my professor and it was nice and that kind of pushed me to like pursue directing and with writing i've always like liked to come i've always come up with ideas i just like always I, in my own self criticism lack that like the final push to write it out like write 150 pages but i'm and i'm working on it but it was a good sort of realization that you know what i want to write and direct and work on my own stuff and so yeah that's how it happened fantastic so what are the um opportunities ethica students get to showcase their work uh, and also participate in certain uh, shows etc festivals what's it like uh, in terms of the support from ethica administration that film majors get um so we can like there are festivals obviously that like film festivals that are available to any student who wants to send their work and they really push it they help you sort of um you know with with that if you want to have a film cut for the festival they'll help they'll sit with you and stuff like that um and sorry what was the first half yeah question? so this is basically the resources uh, the university professors administration sort of proactively yeah. sort of provides students for doing yeah, I mean, certain they, projects and they have a interest. bunch of alumni coming in like through the semester and they're all people who are in LA who are working and in the industry and they give you like really nice sort of insights about how the industry works and how what their struggles were and stuff like that so that that's also another uh, great how is it okay i'm going to switch gears to talk about how is it like living in uh, a small liberal arts college uh, and uh, in a small town small city rather uh, yeah. away from everyone <laughs> in new york city maybe yeah, um, yeah i i actually people. love it like i think it's great cuz like i don't i i i mean i know i know i have like a kind of a close knit community but like i think it's huge like if you go around and travel around it it's it's actually like firstly it's gorgeous like and pun intended because it's also gorgeous because it's like a valley but it's just a beautiful place to sort of stay you like you stay in the woods you're always surrounded by like deer or what not and i find find myself like loving this sort of scenario and uh, the liberal arts college point um i actually i thought liberal arts has been a good experience because i've taken up courses like archaeology like history and stuff like this which i never thought i was interested in but i was i i i i i, I, lit- I literally love one of my art classes that i just did online and i'm like i was pondering doing an arc minor because of it because it was so so much fun to learn about like and i i also think it's really transformative like you can take what you learn in archaeology easily and put it in like cinema and stuff arjun i'm just so sorry i actually have this thing at 6 which is sure. like in this so uh um, yeah i just wanted to let you know that oh.